Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a little something new to show you today. Uh, if you remember the when I did the video on the um, the Boston butt that we uh, butchered, well there were some pieces of the pork that I froze in a little sandwich bag and uh, if you thaw that out and they're like almost frozen it's easier to slice. So what you do is you slice it in thin slices and then flatten it out and then slice it again so you have julienne strips and then turn it perpendicular and cut it into these little pieces here. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop this even finer and we're going to make uh, a dish called uh, Jing Jiok Beng and Jing is steam, Jiok is pork, Beng is cake. So it's actually like a steamed uh, steamed pork cake but at its, uh, or you could call it a Chinese meatloaf if you want. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what we're going to make, and a lot of the subscribers have been asking for measurements, and uh, a lot of chefs, they don't measure, but today I have it all laid out so I can describe it to you, uh, what we're going to put in this uh, steamed pork cake. Here we have uh, a teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of dry cornstarch, one tablespoon of thin soy sauce, and here we have uh, um, the fermented black beans, teaspoon, a teaspoon of the chopped ginger, teaspoon of the chopped garlic. I have a, a half of an egg white and maybe a couple tablespoons of water chestnuts because uh, my sister likes these in, in the pork cake. She likes the crunchiness so we'll put that in there. The only thing that's missing is, um, which we didn't have, was um, three stalks of green onion. And the green onion, how it, you know how it, it's white at the top and green at the bottom? You're going to use the uh, the top one third so just a little bit of the green and mostly white and mince that up real fine and here we have uh, two ounces of water so that water combined with the cornstarch and the egg yolk when you mix it up and then you slam it in this mixing bowl is going to give it that nice uh, texture and um, you know one of the tips that I showed you before about if you chop yourself some ginger and chop yourself some garlic and suspend it in the oil you can leave it in your refrigerator so you don't have to do that every time same thing with the black beans. You can put them in oil. And so when you want to make a dish like this, you just take this out of your fridge and scoop it up instead of chopping it every time. It saves you a lot of time on your, on your side work. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And then I'll focus back in a little bit on, the, on this cutting board. I'll take this meat put it on my chopping board and then take the knife if I had another one of my knives I'd use two which is you know how do it in a Chinese fresh chef. I do have this little one. <laughs> See this little baby? So what you're doing is you're going like this. If you have two. Of course this is way too small, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. Chop it one way, you can take your knife and fold it over, and then chop it the other way. It's a poor man's grinder. Okay, and remember you always can use this multi-purpose tool, use it as a, as a scoop. Scoop it all off the cutting board and put it in your mixing bowl. Then let's add our ingredients. Soy sauce. Dry corn starch. Some of it spilled a little bit while I was moving it over. Salt. 
garlic, ginger, egg white. Get all that sesame oil, oil in there. And we forgot to chop up the, the water chestnut. What you can do with water chestnuts is the same thing you do with, uh, with shrimp. Like if you're going to chop up shrimp, you take the side of your knife and smash it. Just don't do it too hard or else it goes everywhere. Keep it under control. Keep, let it have some of the texture so you have to get some of the crunch in there. Last but not least, the water. Remember, we're going to add in those, those uh, uh, three stalks of, um, of green onions when we, when we pick up them from the store. But I just I didn't want to delay the video. So you see how you get it? And it's just like when you make, when you make dim sum. If you make shumai, you want to take it and smash it in the bowl. And not too hard where it, goes, where it comes out of the bowl, but it gives you the... Uh, it, it melds all the ingredients together. You do that about eight or nine times. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Here's a nice plate to put it on. You know, something that has a lip on it. So, because it, it's good, you're going to get some of the some juices to come up with this too, and you take your hand and you press it flat because the the thinner it is, the easier it cooks. So you steam this for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can smooth it around with your hand. And there you have it, Gio Bang. I want to steam this up and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. You can garnish it with a little bit of green onions if you wanted to, but there's going to be the green onions inside there also. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little lesson. It's a, it's a nice dish. You, you have this dish, you steam it, and then you have yourself a vegetable, like you, you would uh, stir fry some, some string beans. Or what's really good is spinach. One package of spinach with some of this uh, garlic. Very simple when you do spinach and quick. You would uh, stir fry your spinach with some of the... Uh, a teaspoon of the minced garlic and just put a little bit of salt and sesame oil to, to, to flavor it a little bit and that would make a good a good meal thanks for watching and stay tuned for the finished product okay everybody now we're back I'm going to show you the finished product uh, on this steamed pork cake it's been steaming for 15 or 20 minutes and I had made one minor adjustment. The plate was too big so I put it on a smaller plate to fit in the improvised steamer. There you have it. And you see it has some, some uh, juice around the side and I can sign it with my name. Oyster sauce never hurts anything. Sprinkling of uh, scallions for garnish. This is not fancy cuisine. This is like home home cooked food, Chinese food. Jing Jiuqbang, steamed ground pork with black beans. I hope you've enjoyed this short lesson, and thanks for watching.